Hello everybody, welcome back to a new tutorial for Sprite Helper 2.0. In this uh, tutorial I'm going to present you the Sprite Sheet Animations Editor. If you want to go back and uh, look at the Sprite uh, Sheet Editor, uh, you should go to the other movie as uh, it details how to create a scene and uh, all the other uh, settings you need to make. So I'm going to go and uh, create an new document and let's uh, go to the sprite sheet animations editor so right here you will see the imported sprites and uh, the sheets that are in the current document and from here you can create animations and uh, customize them as needed so let's go to the sprite sheet editor and import uh, some uh, some frames let's go to create basic animations so i'm gonna import these numbers frames and I'm gonna go to the sprite sheet animations editor I have them imported over here and I'm gonna create a new animation the animation name is untitled of course so let's rename it let's call it numbers and let's import the frames now you can just import the frames by selecting them and uh, dropping them in the view this way they'll be imported in the exact same order in the frames and you can then later sort them by name ascending or descending and by time ascending or descending you can also import the frames by uh, selecting some sprites and dragging them in the frames list this way let's for example um, sort this ascending and this way you can specify exactly with the drag location exactly when you where you want the new frames to be um, appended so let's sort them and let's for example remove these three frames and you can later select um, import let's say three four and five and drag them between 2 and 6 and of course the frames have been uh, appended in the exact location you have given and you can later organize your frames exactly as you as you need them to be organized if I am to play this animation it will be really fast because it only takes one second you can give uh, an entire time to the animation let's say 10 seconds and the frame time will be um, set up exactly based on uh, this uh, property and if I am to play right now it will take exactly 10 second, seconds you can make it to loop so animation will, will run all over until you stop it via uh, your code engine and you can make it repeat a number of time depending on um, on your needs you can make uh, frames to run at different speeds so let's uh, let's say for example I want the first five frames to run really fast and then the next frames to run a little bit slower and if I am to play the animation right now as you can see the first frames run fast and then it slows down as specified over here and right now if I am to change the time and uh, say uh, the total time right now it's 459 and if I am to uh, say I want 10 seconds the time has been uh, calculated so that again the first frames run faster than the last frames and uh, as you can see it's uh, the settings have remained the same but the total time has been expanded to whatever you have entered over here the restore sprite property tells the engine that uh, when you apply this animation to a sprite when this animation finishes the original sprite texture will be restored okay I'm gonna talk now about random frames so let's create another sheet over here and let's import this uh, flames uh, sprites okay and let's go to the sprite sheet editor again and I'm in the frame uh, sprites uh, sheet okay let's create another animation call it fire and let's drag these frames in here 
and sort the frames by uh, by their name. Let's make it looping and let's run this animation. And as you can see, maybe it's not really visible, but this animation will always play the same. Uh, let's create another animation with the exact same settings. Let's go. Uh, let's make this uh, run for two seconds, and let's create another animation called Fire Two because I want to show you something. Let's sort the frames exactly in order. Let's make it run for two seconds. Let's make it looping. So as you can see, the exact same settings are uh, in both animation. Let's select both uh, both uh, animations and let's run them and as you can see both animations will uh, will run about the same uh, with just maybe just a little bit of offset between the times because they they, uh, they weren't started at the exact same uh, uh, t uh, tick time so uh, if you look at, at uh, this animation it will be pretty boring because it will run the same every little uh, on every little loop so it will become really obvious to the user what uh, you are doing here and uh, it will uh, be a little bit uh, boring and a little bit very un unrealistic uh, because that's not how fire or uh, whatever other animation you are doing uh, really works well, fire is really random so I'm gonna enable random frames and right now the frames will be, uh, run randomly, so it won't care about uh, the order the frames are placed in the frames list. It will care about the time, but not the order. And now the animations uh, will run randomly, creating a more realistic effect for uh, for the fire. So let's talk about uh, now about random replay time. So I'm gonna go over here and create a new sheet and let's import these uh, sprites from here so i basically have uh, two frames over here one is uh, with eyes open and one is with eyes closed of course you can use uh, this uh, animation properties to, uh, to create various animations i'm just showing you a basic examples of how, what you can do with uh, with this uh, animation settings so let's create another animation call it robot anim drag these frames in and let's actually drag the open another uh, time so i have open close open okay and i want the open to take like 30 and milliseconds and this one 20 and i want the close to be really fast and let's make it looping Let's start, and as you can see, nobody blinks like that. It's pretty obvious what is going on over here. It's not a realistic blinking uh, animation, and it becomes uh, really annoying for the user to watch this. So let's enable random time, and let's say the minimum time will be one second, and the maximum time between uh, a blink will be two or maybe let's call it two I think it's enough and now if we look at uh, the animation you will see that it doesn't blink the same way every time so it uh, it takes a random time between these values that you can uh, specify uh, as you want and uh, runs the animation with a delay uh, that will be cal uh, that will have this uh, random value so uh, this will create a very realistic uh, blinking effect or any other uh, um, animation there uh, that require this, this kind of uh, behavior. Let's go now to the, um, to the frame property. So you can select one or multiple frames and you can uh, uh, edit the time from uh, here at uh, the same time. And you can also select the frame and add some user properties so I'm gonna add here a string which you can give a value test for example and you can give a name my string and I'm gonna add 
a number which uh, you can give whatever value you like give it a name so that you can access it via code with uh, with this name and some other uh, boolean value which you can uh, say it's true or false and uh, also give uh, a name so that you can access it uh, in your game engine and uh, use this property as uh, you may uh, need you may need to get special notifications and uh, based on the properties you have entered here do some certain uh, things and in your game engine, uh, consult the uh, documentation because it will uh, be detailed on how to do it. In your game engine, you can uh, get notification for uh, frame has changed, animation has finished uh, a repetition, animation has finished entirely, uh, loop has changed. Uh, you can uh, get in the notification this uh, information and various other notifications. So. Uh, for that specific thing, please consult the documentation page on the website. And uh, of course, these notifications are also visible uh, inside uh, the editor in order to let you know exactly what will happen in your game engine and how uh, it will uh, affect your game code. Um, as you can see, I'm getting a lot of notifications over here and for the frame 1, which uh, is this one, because frame 0 is this one, I also get the user info exactly as I have entered over here. And it tells me when um, the change, uh, the frame has changed, it uh, displays me the user info, I can uh, uh, make it so that the user info is not displayed. You can also scroll to look at all the info you can uh, enable all the notifications you may want in order to see them and uh, see how it uh, will uh, behave so this is the sprite sheet animation editor while it's not very complex it, it can produce very complex results uh, when you're satisfied with your animations you can publish them by going to the publish section and uh, enable uh, publishing of animations and this will uh, generate uh, a specific file for your game engine and uh, please make sure you check uh, the documentation and the github uh, repository to see how to load these animations and uh, how easy it is to handle them in uh, in your code there are various examples on uh, github and in the documentation uh, page thank you for listening have a great day